spiral from the book of saw hmm hmm spiral from the book of saw what fucking book Welcome to the movies, pal. You're from the Neighborhood Mastercast, back with you once again for another movie review. Today we're talking about Spiral from the Book of Saw, produced by Chris Rock, starring Chris Rock, who is apparently a Saw fan. Or is he? So tell us why this role is a rite of passage for you. Well... It's like every black comedian plays a cop investigating something at some point. Eddie Murphy, <laughs> W.S. Cobb, Martin Lawrence, Blue Streak, Chris Tucker and Rush Hour, like Jamie Foxx has done it. So now it's my turn to, you know, to ask, okay, who did it? You know, <laughs> who be that guy? I don't doubt that Chris Rock is a fan of the Saw franchise, but... This is such a out of left field, not only performance, but project that I think a lot more people were curious as to how the hell this was going to go down more than they were curious about, oh, cool, then Saw is continuing. I like the Saw franchise. I'm not crazy about it, but I like it. I like it. But what you have here isn't exactly a Saw movie. As a matter of fact, I would not call this a Saw movie. This is not a Saw movie from the Book of Saw. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. I don't have an answer to that, and, and, and I doubt that Chris Rock does. I'm sure if somebody asked him, what the fuck does book mean? Yeah. Ask the marketing people. They're stupid. Anyway, Spiral is essentially fan fiction. That's what I would call it. It's complete fan fiction. It sort of plays with the elements of Saw and the Jigsaw, John Kramer storyline, but it is so detached that it can only be fan fiction. That's 100% what it is. It is not a part of the actual franchise whatsoever. So you can go ahead and skip this. You're not going to miss anything. This isn't like one last minute John Kramer situation. No, no, no. He's not in this. Billy the Puppet is not in this, which is a big what the fuck. They have a new marionette pig thing, which is... The pig mask is back, though. There's The, 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 the killer does wear a pig mask. But uh, that's really the only Saw-like touch beyond the traps, which, I mean, honestly, they could have called this movie anything and still had that, and it would, I, I think nobody would have made the comparison. I mean, some, some people would, but I think it would have done better if it was just called Spiral or whatever, and, and it was not necessarily connected to the Saw universe. It still would have been a shitty movie, but, you know, I, I, think, it, 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 I think people would have been less... Uh, more forgiving, I should say, and less uh, strict on it. Or uh, tough on it, I should say. So what is the movie about? Well, this is not a horror movie. I'll tell you that right now. Not a horror movie. What you're dealing with is a police procedural. Chris Rock unconvincingly plays a tough Serpico-like cop. He's a rat in the department because he, you know, he, he told on a dirty cop and so everybody hates him. And, and, and he honestly just comes off as unlikable and, and screaming all the time and unpleasant, and, and just kind of an asshole. And I get it, you build up a thick skin when, when people are jerks to you, and you just sort of, you know, put out the prickles. I get it. But his character is just so unlikable. And Chris Rock, honestly, is just not good in this role. I could not take him serious as a, as a tough, hard-bitten cop, you know? And, and even the dialogue was so cheesy, like, I became a cop, I made my, I made my choices. This is a cop's life. Like, those kind of, like, you know, super cliched lines are, are rife throughout this whole movie. This movie is just a walking cliche of cop movies. It's like they watch Seven and, and, and Law and & Order and, and all these, like, cop-type movies and shows and mix them all together. And you have a, a divorced cop uh, who's also Serpico, uh, who also, his dad was the chief of police, so he's got that sort of, like, hanging over him. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, rogue plays by his own rules. Like he does everything. He's also got a, a police captain that yells at him. And goes, "What are you doing? You're breaking the rules, Chris Rock." That's not his name in the movie, but whatever. His name is Zeke. It's beside the point. His dad 
which is really part of the point uh, is Sam Jackson. Sam Jackson has um, not, not so much a substantial role, but he's in the movie. So he, he does appear in here and he does um, tangle with the killer, so to speak. Uh, the main problem with the movie is, like I said, it's not a horror movie. It is a police procedural. It is literally a pol it, it, it's It's like you're watching Training Day with traps. And tr but not as exciting and interesting and well written as Training Day. But that's essentially what it is. He gets teamed up with a rookie again. Uh, uh, teamed up with a rookie. Add that to the list. He's got a rookie partner that he's got. He's got to teach, you know, the ropes to. And there's drug dealers and informants. It's very much a cop movie, and a saw like movie. Last, I mean, it's it's almost eighty percent cop movie, and then a little bit. Saw movie. That's that's my take on it, honestly. Um, it's just mediocre, badly written, and honestly, I hate to say it, I like Chris Rock, but he is laughable in this role. I could not take him seriously. I laughed every time he said, like, a tough cop line. Like, I play by my own rules. I'm a cop. Ha <laughs> ha, what a... Jesus, no, man. 12 years ago, I turn in a dirty cop. I get a medal for it. Big deal. I also got a bullet... And I got to look over my back for the rest of my career. Shut up! It is too f***ing hot here for me to listen to this I got a heat wave going on. We got rolling blackouts. The city is nuts. Stop! There's a lot of this movie that feels like it has the DNA of a Saw movie, but it doesn't deliver a Saw movie, really. Mainly because fucking Jigsaw's not in the movie. You don't do that. But again, it's from the Book of Saw, right? So I guess we have to give it some leeway. Well, I say this to you. No more damn books. No more books. Spiral gets one star from me, and I'm being generous with that one star. I just felt it was trite, super cliche, boring, and doesn't really deliver what the fans are expecting. Yeah, the traps are there, and while they are gory and cringy, there's one with the tongue, there's one with the fingers get ripped off, uh, there's also an element of there's no way that the person in the traps could survive. And that's what Jigsaw was all about, right? He gave you a chance to fight for your life. Here, the killer doesn't really give the people a chance because even if they were able to extricate themselves from the trap, well, they'd fucking bleed to death. There's no way that person's walking away, has some coffee and pie afterwards. They, they're going to die from blood loss. And the more you know about the killer... I guess you understand like he doesn't really want them, you know, to survive in a way. I'm not going to give any spoilers away, by the way, as to what happens. But I called the killer early on. Uh, it was almost too obvious. And then there was a there was a clue that was sent that is a dead fucking giveaway. And it, it's kind of ridiculous that they left that in there because it's so obvious that once we get to the reveal, you're like, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. Well, duh. Are we supposed to be surprised? Because you didn't surprise this movie. That's a failure on your part. Uh, I could go on and on, but I'm not going to bore you like Spiral did me. It's not a good movie. Um, if you liked it, I'm so happy for you. That's amazing. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Two-way conversation here. Always, always here on Master Chaos TV. I'd love to hear what your, th what your thoughts are. If you really enjoyed it, let me know why, because I, I, maybe, I'll, maybe I can see it in a different light. I really, I really appreciate hearing from people with different, uh, d different input uh, than mine, because then you know, we can share our love and, and, and maybe open each other's minds a little bit more. And if you hated it like me, let me know as well. I'm curious your thoughts. Uh, my friend, thank you so much. It's time to close the theater down. I'm going to grab the curtain, pull it across the silver screen here. And um, well, I hope you'll come back to the theater. It's nice and clean now. You don't have to wear your mask here. Hang out with your old pal, Master Chaos, and talk movies. Um, that's it. I hope you're well. I'm going to send you some love wherever you are in the world. And I uh, hope we get to meet again real soon. The theater's closed for now.